Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobrý den, welcome to me paintings, I'm Veronica Me, and today I would like to share with you this special wave fluid art tutorial. These are the paints which I will be using and I will also use this special tool with teeth for my little wiggles or waves. I'm using Dalo Blue, Cerulean Blue, Lavender, Magenta Red, Pink, Fox Pink, Cadmium Yellow and I will also use Turquoise as a base color. I just quickly want to show you how I mix my paint. I need pouring medium, acrylic paint, some old yogurt cup and water. I'm gonna put blob of yellow in this cup like that and now I'm gonna mix one part of paint, one part of pouring medium. Mix it up very well. It's like a heavy paste now, but I'm gonna add two spoons of distilled water into this mixture. One, two little spoons, mix it up. And this is the right consistency for my fluid art project. I will be painting on cotton canvas, which is size 40 by 50 centimeters. This is primed, so there is no need to put gesso on it. I will start by pouring this turquoise color on edges so let's pour it around here and spread it like this and now I can start pouring my paint I'm gonna start with the yellow blue so a line here all of it And spread it with your wooden spade or with spoon or whatever kind of tool you use for spreading. Then cerulean blue. Let's cover the rest with leftover turquoise and now i will also pour turquoise here on this edge and this one is slightly thicker than the rest of the colors so let's pour it here this will be my swiping color And I have got this big piece of plastic sheet and I'm gonna swipe it all the way there. So let's put it on this edge. <clears throat> Perfect like that. I know it doesn't look interesting at all, but I promise this will create a beautiful wiggly wavy piece. I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt it a little bit and now it's time for my special tool I'm gonna do these waves like this okay so Let's go from here. No, let's go from here. Let's just And I'm going to continue making these wiggly lines.
Okay, let's do the middle one again. And then some circles. Here's a little detail of my wiggle waves. Some parts has got too much paint in there, but once it gets dry, I will embellish these parts with something special. So can't wait to show you the next step. And then I looked at it from a different angle and I might do some circle here. The paint is finally dry and it turned out amazing. I love all these waves and wiggles. Look at these amazing details. And I would like to turn it into much more 3D looking painting. It's completely fine if you want to keep it like this. I still love it, but if you've seen my previous videos, you know I'm crazy about 3D effects. So I would like to create these white borders and also put some golden details in between these wiggles and waves. So let's do that. I'm gonna use masking tape for the borders and then start filling some inside shapes with dark gray. Now I have to decide which parts I want to cover with some gold and gray. So I'm gonna use my white marker and draw shapes which will be covered. This part looks nice, but I think it will be nicer if I cover it because it will create that negative space which I need in this wiggle pattern. I'm gonna start with grey paint and then I will cover that with special gold paste. All parts are covered, so now I'm gonna take this special gold paste, which I bought in local art shop, it's called Goldfinger, and I'm gonna take my wet wipe, put a little bit of this paste on the tip of my wipe, just a little bit, because it's very strong, like this, and I'm gonna spread it like this, and it will create a nice relief pattern. See, now you can see the wiggle pattern much more. 
perfect like that now i'm gonna use black acrylic paint and paint shadows around the, my wave shapes and also make shadows here at these borders That's all done, so let's take these tapes off. Perfect, and now I'm gonna paint these borders with white paint and also create shadows around these overlapping waves and this is the result of my special wave fluid art painting and i absolutely love how this turned out you can choose which way you want to hang it i like it this way also, this way looks interesting, or this way, that's what I love about it. So as you can see, you can follow just a few simple steps and create a beautiful piece of art. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it was inspirational for you, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, Create With Me, and show us your beautiful art. I also have got Instagram page, Me Paintings, where you can see all of my artwork. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you lots of success with your art pieces and I can't wait to see you again. Bye!